Yeah, it's spook time. Um, hi, my name is Krista. I am auditioning for the one man role for it. Hiya, Georgie. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Hi, Penny Weiss. You want to float? <laughs> oh, jeez, she could do that pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh! We're changing it up? What the hell for? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone, episode 124. Yes, that's right, I said it. 124. This is the Spooktober extravaganza beginning. First episode today. Spooktober edition. Mmm. Janice put some slime in my water. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate everything you do. And I just hope someday you will get fired. Um, so this is it. I've changed my mind. I said I wasn't really going to consider doing a Halloween-themed... Uh-oh. The camera moved a little bit. I wasn't going to do a Halloween-themed Spooktober edition of this shit podcast, but I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. And so, this is it. We're getting fucking spooky up in this bitch. I've got the lights. I've got some stupid LED thing that spins in a circle and it shines ghosts and goblins on me. Ghosts? <laughs> it's ghosts and I'm wearing a fucking dinosaur dragon costume. I'm a dragon and I've got wings, but they're all bent and out of shape and you can't really see them. See that? I can fucking fly like a dragon and I got a little tail. And a pumpkin. And it says danger. Caution. I turned the lights down a bit. I might have to fuck around with the editing so you can actually see me, but I don't know. Um. So yeah, welcome to episode 124, stupid people. You're not stupid. This costume is a little too tight. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway, because I'll talk about it. Anyway, is what I'm supposed to say. A little underprepared for this. I'm more prepared for the setup than the actual... ...podcast itself. Wait a minute. Okay. I got headphones on. I was just making sure the music was coming through the headphones. And not through the... uh, Laptop. The lap... The laptop. Now, last episode, the audio of the microphone was only available through the left channel. It was my bad. I I funked up. But, you know, I'm, I switched over to the laptop exclusively, so things are gonna, you know, things are gonna fuck around and fuck up every once in a while. We got some spoop music playing. I still have a stuffed up nose for crying out loud. But I've got some, I don't really have some spooky stuff planned. Wow, this is a great podcast. You got all this set up, but you have nothing to execute anything? Is that what this is? Is that what this is going to be? Should I stop this right now? And just wait till later when I'm more prepared and more awake and more alert and have more ideas? I don't know. But here's what I will say. From today until Halloween, I will not be uploading every day. Obviously not, but... 
the episodes that follow this episode will be uh, spoop themed. So it's all gonna be Halloween, baby. Hall of fucking ween, baby. It's a good month. It's a good excuse to just put on a furry costume and talk about gore and death and make spooky treats and put cyanide in children's candy and hand it out to them. It's very simple. You can find cyanide in your diarrhea. Just eat some Taco Bell diarrhea the next day. The next day. Is the spooky background music kind of a pain in the dick? Is it too loud? I don't even know. Can you even hear it? I don't know. Can you smell it? Well, maybe. Um, the things we have to talk about. The things we have to talk about are so fun. I've got a few videos up and ready to go. Um, but I, 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 I have some stuff. To, why am I off my game right now? This feels, this environment feels weird. It's putting me in a weird position. I f it's intimidating. I've got lights floating around in my face. The the main light is very dim right now for spooky reasons. And it's kind of tilted down too much. I'm just realizing that right now. It's pointed like right here. It should be up at my face so you can see my fucking face, bro. Who, Janice? Did you do this? Janice, did you do this? I need you to fix this, please. Please, Janice, fix it, please. I can't get up. I've already sat down. I already hit record, Janice. Um, there was there was well, just one little story I want to touch on real quick here. Just a, just a quick one. Um, in Haveri, where the hell's Haveri? India. Somewhere in India, this college decided that they wanted to put cardboard boxes with a square cutout. They wanted to put cardboard boxes over the students' heads with a square cutout. So that the students didn't, don't cheat on their exams. I guess they have a problem with children cheating, but look at this. Well, I guess it's not children, it's college kids. It's college students. They all, <laughs> they're all wearing boxes on their heads. What's going on? Is this, what is, why, 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 why? Can this be allowed? Every one of them, except for this girl right here. I noticed this. There's a girl right here. She's just laughing and she's got her box right beside her. Like, I'm not wearing this shit. Are you fucking kidding me right now, bro? This is crazy. Problem of malpractice. When students of the Bagot Poo College arrived for their midterm exam, they were handed specially modified cartons to cover their head. Well, okay. Specially modified? It's a cardboard box. First and second. You don't call it a carton. Okay? This is interesting. This made worldwide news. Is that all it takes now? Just put a cardboard box on your head? In a, in a situation where you shouldn't have cardboard boxes on your head? Worldwide news, my friend. Now, this must be the teacher. Because she's not wearing the uniform. She's wearing an orange dress type thing. Probably for Halloween month. A college in Karnataka, India, 
is facing questions after photos showed students wearing cardboard boxes on their heads during an exam. A college official said it was part of an experiment to prevent cheating. That's your experiment? Couldn't they have come up with something better? We have crazy technology. This is something that would be done in like the early 1920s or some shit. When people had nothing other than cardboard boxes. You know what I'm saying? Like there's got to be an easier way to prevent kids from cheating than just putting cardboard boxes on their head. For one, that would be really distracting for the student. You know, hearing the box kind of move around on your head every time you turn. Or, um... I don't know. Just the thought of having a box on your head would be very distracting. I don't know about you, but I would I would feel that way. Man, this episode feels like it's... Garbage. It's National Period Day! National Period Day! Period is a global youth-powered non-profit that is fighting to end period poverty and prevent... Oh, and period stigma through service, education, and advocacy. Menstruation is in some niche thing more than half of the world on a monthly basis. Menstruates. It's time to stop treating it as an icky inconvenience and to ignore and instead treat it as a healthcare issue that deserves our attention, care, and policy change. What? What? The, I don't see why. What is the big deal? Like, are people. Like it's not like people are fighting to, like, prevent periods from happening. Like, what backlash is there against peri against menstruation? I. Are. Are people just saying like, oh, we gotta, we gotta pay attention to this? Like, what the hell? Where did that, where did that go? It's gone now. And why is it called menstruation? <laughs> right? Why is it called menst? Where did that fucking thing go? Give it back! It's National Period Day, so instead of being thankful for what you do, have, be like some of the women who don't have to go through that struggle today, and be thankful for some of the things you don't have. Menstruation cups are safe to use, and may be just as effective as other sanitary products in preventing leaks Okay, look, I'm I'm a man. I don't know what it's like to have a period, but I'm sure it's not pleasant. But what is this? Why are people like rallying? It's refreshing to see diversity phase agents. What is it? Is it because you gotta pay for tampons? What's the deal here? Okay, it is. Taxing tampons. Endometrinosis. What does that mean? Endometrinosis. What is that? Endometri. What does that mean? Stop taxing her period. We live in we're living in an age where people are protesting. I'm not saying I'm I'm against this, but what I'm saying is people are constantly protesting. What the I was just talking about Canon yesterday and now they're showing up as someone to follow. Okay. I'll follow you then. Please make sure you're checking on recalls monthly for tampons. I made the mistake of not in December, and a tampon had unraveled while in use, and I had no idea until a week later, and I was very ill. I had used Kotex at the time. 
And, oh, and it's National Period Day, and mine is busting my ass right now. Well, it shouldn't be coming out your ass, right? One time I got my period during class. I called my mom and had her excuse me from school so I could go home. Luckily, my teachers were very understanding and let me make up the missed work test. We aren't all that lucky. What do you mean? And then some girl said, this is the dumbest national holiday ever. Um... <laughs> I love the spooky music while we talk about periods. <laughs> it's National Period Day, everyone. It's National Period Day. National Period Day. My head's hurting. Oh, that's from this. No wonder my headphones were making my head the forehead hurt. So, uh, um, if you have a period... Don't buy tampons. Leak your blood on the floor. And show the world that uh, periods are not a privilege. Let the corporations know that they should not be taxing you on your bodily function. If that's the case, then why don't we make toilet paper free as well? Fuck toilet paper! I got a poop. We all got a poop. I shouldn't have to pay for toilet paper. I don't want to wipe my butt with your filthy paper money. There's shapes floating around on the ceiling that you can't see. You probably can't even make out the shapes that are floating around my body right now. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on this drum all day. There's some nice skeletons and pumpkins, but... I tried every angle to get this fucking colorful LED spinning thing to... Look good on camera, and no matter where I put it, it just looks like garbage. <laughs> <clears throat> Friends? Enemies? Spangladesh? Janice, I'm hungry! Give me some food! That's how you're supposed to talk to women. You say, Janice, I don't care about your period, and I just want a sandwich. Can you please just get me a sandwich? It's spooktober, Janice. We have not got no time for this. Knock on wood, even though that's not even wood. Janice, Janice, just do as you're told, please. Um, I'm, I've, I started playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. I just, I don't know. I had a lot of fun my first, like, three times beating the game. I think it was three, maybe it was two, no, it was three, probably. But I tried to start it up yesterday, and I was like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it anymore. I've done everything you could possibly do. Do I really want to do it all again? Because as a younger fella... I used to, that's what I would do, especially with the GTA series. I would just, I'd beat the game and then I'd play it again and beat it and play it again. And, beat it, and even with TV shows, I'd finish like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and then I'd start from season one and watch it all over again. And I'd do that over and over again. And it didn't bother me, but as I'm getting older, I'm like, I don't want to redo stuff anymore. Not as much as I used to. But I still, there's still a part of me that's like, I want to, I want to play Red Dead again. So I'm trying it. I'm trying it again. Don't know if, uh, how long it's going to last. Uh. I have no idea, man. You can't just say stuff. You know, it's Spooptober. Get your spook on. 
Red Dead can be spooky too. Spook City. We're in the spook, spook city. I don't like that I have to keep pressing this. Can I just keep it on repeat or something? Is there a way to do that? Is there a way to do that? How do you do it? I know there's a way. I saw it. Maybe I can't reach it because of the fucking... Oh, son of a bitch. How do you do it? How do you do it? Oh, here it is. Loop. Loop stop? Oh, okay, 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 let's see if it loops. Matty Matheson. You know, do you know who he is? He's a fat chef from Canada. And he's got a lot of tattoos, and he's funny as fuck. You haven't seen him? Go check that motherfucker out right now. What is this podcast? What is this podcast? Are you watching this right now? Is thinking to yourself, what the fuck am I watching? Well, I'm thinking the same thing. Because this podcast is literally nothing, okay? Just imagine taking a dumpster, bringing it to your house, dumping it on your front lawn, and then putting the dumpster back where you found it. That's what this podcast is taking trash and just pouring it on your front lawn wonderful oh no damn it <laughs> oh. you know the process of trying to get that pumpkin back up here the cord for it is only about this long okay so I had to stretch an extension cord a hundred feet to get it to reach okay and it's still tugging on the extension cord so I just accidentally touched the cord and the pumpkin went for a tumble okay I got to go fucking get the fucking thing god damn it God fucking damn it. Oh, Ev. Did you knock the pumpkin down? Fuck Costume. It's hard to sit down in this costume because uh, ah, it's choking me because it chokes you. It really tugs on your neck. There's the pumpkin. See, because you, uh, if you knew how small this room was before any other shit is in here, you would understand. Because when I put all this shit in here, hey, it, um, you know, there's no room to fucking walk. I have to, if I push, I, I've explained this in like the last couple episodes, but if I, I had to push the chair back, the chair spins itself because the floor is crooked. So it spins, knocks everything over. So I have to push the chair up against a wall so it doesn't spin. I have to go around this table, 
Okay, but the space between the table and the wall is about this thin. And then the space between the front of the desk and the camera is even thinner. And there's cables everywhere. And they're hanging. They're not just on the floor. They're hanging. So you got to crawl over them without moving the camera, without moving the light fixture, without moving the table. And a fucking pumpkin just fell. <laughs> and you, you can't even tell, like, this pumpkin is actually pink, okay? It's got, like, pink. Where the eyes and the nose and the mouth are, it's hot, like, hot pink. That's why I bought the fucking thing. But you can't even tell because it's just a white light. And it, or it's, it just makes it look orange. Yeah, complain a little more, why don't you? It's not easy. It's not easy. As uh, what's his face would say. Can't even remember his name. It's not easy. Do you remember as a child how how exciting Halloween was? At least for me it was. I absolutely loved Halloween every year. For a few reasons. One, well, you, because you got candy. Two, because you got to hang out with your friends and dress up as stuff. And you know, you could go out in the, in the wilderness, <laughs> in the city, and you knock on people's doors and you say, Hey, happy Halloween, can I have some candy, bitch? And they say, yup. But you have to say trick or treat. Trick or treat! I hated that, that was the worst part about it. Saying trick or treat. That's the most cuda shit. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know, I, it irritated me, having to say that stupid phrase, trick or treat, and they go, oh, I love your costume, you look so spooky, or you look so funny, or you look so, it's the same shit every time, okay, yes, I get it, you like my costume, give me the, give me the fucking candy, <laughs> that was great, there was, there was a person in my neighborhood, on Halloween, and he had the best setup ever. You would first off, the outside of his house was completely decorated to the fucking maximum. There was inflatable things everywhere. There was cobwebs and spot like anything you could possibly imagine that could be crammed into his front yard was there. And you have to walk up the stairs to his front door, and then he had a whoa! Oh my God, that's just Oliver. I thought that was a ghost. He had, he had a nice big deck, and on the deck he had a big fucking wheel, like the wheel of mythicality that you could spin. It was like, and then whatever it would land on, that's what you would get. And he had like big chocolate bars, big bags of chips, toys. He had all kinds of shit. He spun that wheel, and whatever it landed on, that's what you got. I can't remember if he had like shitty options. That'd be really funny if he did, though. Like, some kid spins the wheel and it lands on you. Get nothing. <laughs> Go away. I don't. I can't. No, Olive. You stay away from that. Olive's trying to knock the pumpkin over. Did you knock it over before? What are you doing? Come here. Oh, you're making a racket. You remember Oliver? This is this is Oliver. The poop. The poop meister. Okay, let's see if it loops. It did! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm looking for. A little bit of a loop. Screw my nooples. Hard to talk when you got shit in your nose, right? It's like in my nose and in my throat at the same time. Just a ball of goop. And you can't move it. <clears throat> I'm trying to swallow it, but it won't go away. I know, it's gross. But I'm trying to get rid of the goop so that you don't hear the little throat goblin. You know the throat goblin? When it gets caught in there and it changes your voice? 
you spook. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I should not say that. Don't say that. That is a bad thing to say. You know, we can talk about spooky things during spooktober, but don't call people that word. That is a word we can't say anymore. Even though everyone I fucking work with, I work, I work with so many goddamn racist people, it's unbelievable, and I hate every second of it. I'm getting out of the industry completely. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm leaving, and I'm never coming back. I'm just going to pack up my suitcase. I'm going to get, like, one of those old cartoony knapsacks that you tie to a stick, and you hold it over your shoulder, and you go. That's what I'm doing. As a child, I spent lots of time in graveyards. <laughs> not not for crazy reasons. I just did it because there was one basically in my backyard. Where I lived uh, in Nova Scotia. Oh, <laughs> I lived in an area where our whole backyard was just like a big field. And there was a water tower. And then like off to the left of the water tower, there's a graveyard. And you just, you could just go. It was a great place to bike. Because there was paths. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't go there a lot. But we'd go there, especially during Halloween. And we'd play flashlight tag. Um, I don't know. Just being bad little boys. <laughs> Roman candles. We wouldn't desecrate the graves, okay? We weren't digging up the graves and raping the... I, why would I even say that? But people do that. They dig up the bodies and they rape them. I mean, obviously we didn't do that, right? Anything I say is just going to sound shitty. Sound like I'm a shit person because of this music. It's making it ten times creepier. This part, I'm uh, I'm not on my game right now. I just I don't feel I don't feel the flow. I don't feel the flow for this Spooktober special. How long have we been doing this? Only 33 minutes. God, can we just end it already? Olive, do you know how to stay still? What are you trying to do? Way down, Olive. Way down. He has no idea what he's doing. Why don't we... Why don't we just go ahead and watch some shit? And next time I'll be much more prepared. I swear to Jesus. So first I just have some clips that I prepared myself. And then we'll go to the Halloween subreddit on, on, on Reddit. Um, this is a terrifying video. Absolutely terrifying. A building collapses. And people scatter in fear. But it's worth the watch. Okay, just watch carefully. You gotta watch when the smoke comes. When the smoke bellows, that's when you gotta look. Okay, here we go. Pay attention. Ow! Oh! Oh, 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 edge. Isn't that great? Fantastic. Okay, we got another one. This is a great one. This is one of my all-time favorites right here. Okay, we got a an older Karen in the audience. You don't you don't know what a Karen is? Okay, look up Karen. Just just go to Google and type in Karen. And the first woman you see, that is a Karen. And you know her. She's at the grocery store all the time, yelling at the cashier, asking for the manager. And she's got that haircut. Well, here we have a Karen <laughs> watching basketball game in the audience. And uh, Karen, well, why don't we just go ahead and watch? It's only four seconds, so. Bah! Oh, <laughs> Karen! You just got, oh, motherfucker. Watch it again. Bow! <laughs> it's so good. Watch this. Watch this guy in the orange try to block it. He doesn't even try. <laughs> I guess it's probably pretty quick, but 
Oh, I love this. Bam. Knocks her glasses. Ah! <laughs> it's like she has no idea it's coming either. That's the best part of this. Dunk. Wow, there's so much to analyze here. Like, if you watch the guy in the background, both people in the background put their hands up, and it just nails her right in the face. Right in the nose. Wow. <laughs> that would hurt, though. That would not feel good, for sure. Oh, oh yeah, baby. I could watch this all day. And your glasses go for a ride. Basuki. I wish there was more. I want to see, like, if she's in a lot of pain. <laughs> Afterwards, you know, there's not enough. Here's a good spooky one. Do you like spiders? Do you like sweaters? Do you put your sweater on a log in the forest? Because if you do... Let's say you're camping. You're like, ah, it's getting a little warm. We're about to go for a walk, but it's a little warm outside. So I'm just going to put my sweater on this log here. And you go for a walk, and then you come back. And then this is what you see. What would you do with your sweater? <laughs> what would you do if this was your sweater? Would you just leave it there? Or would you try to get all the spiders off? Because that's a lot of spiders. And those aren't small spiders either. Those are like daddy long legs. But they're weird version of daddy long legs. Would you leave your sweater there? If it was a sweater that I did not care about. And I didn't need it anymore. Because it, I had extras or something. I'd probably leave it there. Or I'd just take it and throw it in the fire. I'd probably just throw it in the fire. Oh, here's another kind of spooky one. Sp we're keeping up with the spooks. Can you even say that? Keeping up with the spooks? This one. Now, this guy's doing two things that's wrong. One, he's eating a, a wild mushroom that l uh, he probably doesn't even know if it's safe to eat it. Or maybe he knows it's safe. Or maybe he knows it's a magic mushroom and he wants to go on a trip. Or maybe he doesn't know and he's just hoping it's a magic mushroom. And he, you know, is just, uh, he's just, he's walking the plank. I can't think of the, the, the analogy here, but he's just taking a risk. He's like, I'm going to eat this mushroom. Hopefully it gets me high. If it doesn't, well. But, okay, so that's his first mistake. But his second mistake, you find out right away here. So, it's another quick one. Unfortunately, there's not anything after the quickness. But here we go. Bites the mushroom. Okay, he doesn't like it. Takes another bite. Oh, my God! Spider crawls right up his nose. Ready for that again? Oh, wow! Let's, okay, let's watch it again, but watch the spider. Can you slow it? No. Watch the spider. Watch, watch where it comes out. <coughs> okay, watch it again. Watch where the spider's at. I don't understand. Where does it come from? Because it's not there, then he moves it off camera, then it's on camera, and then it's there. It's like a magic trick. It's like a magic trick. The magic trick. It's like a magic trick. Okay, I got... I got one more to show, and it's not that great. But then we'll go to the subreddit. Olive, stop breathing heavy. There was a tree that got struck by lightning, and this happened. Olive, stop breathing heavy. Look at this tree. Isn't it beautiful? Dad, now that's a Halloween decoration. 
That is a Halloween decoration if I ever did see one. Okay, here we go. Let's 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 do the Halloween subreddit. To whoever put the reflective eyes on this tree by the side of the road, you, fine sir, are an asshole. A genius, but an asshole nonetheless. Why is he an asshole? Because it scared you? Did it scare you? My first pumpkin of the year, Wednesday. Adam's giving some epic side eye. That's a pretty good pumpkin, if I do say so myself. Winter of 2019. Ah, I get it. Because she's Mexican. Simple but effective. Simple but effective. Why? Why? Because it's like a guillotine on the stairs? Okay, sure. I'll give you to you. Does this count as Halloween? My noodle getting her spook on. No, it doesn't. Feed me, Seymour. Made for this year's theme. Gruppity goopity. Not mine, but this, this truck always gets down during Halloween. Nice. It's not bad. It's not too shab dab. It's not too shab a rab wabu. My wife and I always wanted to be that house. Now we have some, we have one, so what's happening? You always wanted to be what house? A house that gives out candy? Just like every other house? And glow sticks? Oh, I see, that house. Okay, they got full candy bars, I see. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're the real OG if you hand out full-size candy bars to children. They got full-size candy bars. All right, none of that small bullshit, that bite-size bologna. This picture is from summer before last. So my ghost now goes by Oliver. Oliver, that's you. As I've got to know him. What happens when you grow a pumpkin inside a plastic mold? Whoa! Did that really happen? That's fucking cool. That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. I can't believe that actually worked. That's, ga yeah, game changing. That's right. Okay, that fucking light thing. That's spinning and colorful. You probably can't hear it, but it is so loud. And it's getting louder. It's going like... <laughs> Your dog's ready. I see... Oh, man, these headphones really hurt my head. Janice! I need new headphones! I made giant jack-o'-lantern bush covers. Bush covers? Oh, bush covers. Okay, good for you. My tooth fairy costume? Is this it? That's it? That is not that great. This is the Halloween thug life. Cool. So, you know, when I get my own house one day, I'm going to decorate the fuck out of it. And I'm going to deliver candy. But as long as I'm living in a fucking shithole like this, I'm not decorating shit. And I'm not handing out candy. I can't afford either. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, kids. I was thinking about just putting a sign on my door that says, No candy. I was actually thinking about putting a sign in front of the steps leading up to my door that say no candy because sometimes kids will come to the door and they'll read the sign and then they'll go away I don't even want them to come to the door I don't want to see you near my house go away children 
I probably won't even be here on Halloween. I, I never am. The past few years, I've... I just say, okay, it's Halloween. I got to get out of here because I, uh, there's going to be children every few seconds at my door. What, 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 what do you think about my Pennywise pumpkin? I think it's pretty cool. Day off. Made this. What a waste of a day off. Festive. That is festive. Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma, and the Bad Wolf. Oh, oh. Okay. Spooky good hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, shit. You got a skeleton doing your stuff. Cash money. Bye-bye. My pumpkin this year, every year, I try to pick a more difficult design than the year before. This one took me 2.5 hours. Oh. What a waste of time. From my girlfriend's neighborhood. There's a lot in this yard, but I love these giant homemade scarecrows. What do you mean there's a lot in that yard? There's nothing in the yard. Oh, maybe there is. You just can't see it. Spooky, spooky. Off you roll. What is he, a hockey puck? What did that say when he turned around? Excuse me, child. What does your back say? I am a wheel. You look like a hockey puck. Scroll down so I can... There's no comments! Should I leave a comment? You are a hockey puck, my friend. That's all I need to say. You are a hokey poke, my friend. Right. I'ma suck your blood. What does that say? Does it say right? I'ma suck your blood. Okay. Soon. Okay. Our Halloween party is cult in an abandoned swamp castle. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Heh. Had an absolute blast shooting these a couple nights ago. Can't wait to get through them all. Get through them all. Okay, fuckeronies. I think that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. You probably didn't because it wasn't that great. Next episode will be much better, I swear to Jesus. Okay? It is my... It has been a privilege. Okay, it will be my goal to make next episode a worthy opponent against all the other episodes of the DGP. You dig? This was Spooktober. This is the beginning of Spooktober. We're going to go right till October 31st and then back to business. So please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, notification, you know what to do, Jesus, why does everyone gotta tell you this? Why does every YouTuber gotta say this junk? But anyway, you know the deal, do the stuff, do the deeds, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone, bye, oh my god, goodbye. Bags of bird ham. You gotta have a little bit of a shit storm every once in a while. Come. Just ask E.T. Come. Is it unfair for me to use this because Dynamic Banter uses it? Is it unfair? Janice, you're fired! Alwith, get down. And Janice? 
Janice. Janice, cut the bullshit, okay? Oh, yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, gravy. Um. Oh, I can't wait to take this fucking costume off, man. It's making me hot and horny. It's making me hot and horny. No, no horny. It's not making me horny. I was just kidding about the horny stuff. I'm not horny. Me no horny. Me no horny. Me no horn. Me no horn.